Hello there guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial. My name is Jack, I'm one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics and as always it's my absolute pleasure in welcoming you here today. We're based in Photoshop today guys and the reason why we are here is to discuss how do we apply a thermal effect within Photoshop. A very very cool effect as you can see and this is used across many forms of graphic design. What I'd love to do is make it a, lot of clear, a little bit clearer for you today uh, or a lot clearer for you uh, for you then to go and create some amazing designs within your graphic design career. Okay, so what I've got on the other tab here is the original image. And I have a nice black background uh, layer also as well. Now, the first thing that I'd need to apply is what we call a gradient map. Okay, so what I'm gonna come here now is apply our adjust, come to our adjustment layers and apply a gradient map. Fantastic. Now as you can see now, this gradient is interacting with our image below. But what I'd like to do now is reverse the black and white elements on the on, on, on flip them. Okay. Now this creates this sort of negative vibe. And as you can see now, the effect is coming to shape a little bit. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need, we need to actually manipulate this gradient via applying more color stops and changing a few locations of the particular color stops. Now what I'm going to do is read out a few color codes for you. And what I would suggest you to do is write these down and then implement them in with your own gradient bars, okay? So we have the first sort of color stop here, all right? Now the first uh, code that I'm gonna put in is 2A3283, okay? And now we're gonna add another color stop. So we can simply come here and hover our mouse and then click, okay? I'm gonna say the location I want around 19. And the code that I want to put in here is 195B7E. Wonderful. I'm going to add now another color stop. I want the location to be around 41, I would say. Perfect. And I want the code of this to be E22326. Okay. Very nice. I'm going to add another one in here. Lovely location I want around sort of 77. And the code for this one is F1D113. Okay, very nice. As you can see now, it's really coming to shape now that effect. And the last stop, I have the code, and that is at EAF. 4DF, sort of off whitish kind of color. Okay, and let's press okay. And there you have it, guys. There is the thermal effect applied. What I'm going to do now is hover to in between these two layers and press option on the Mac or Alt on Windows to create a clipping mask, like so. And there you have it, guys. That is how you apply a thermal effect within Photoshop. If you're interested in finding out more, please visit our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also check out our Instagram at blueskygraphics.uk. There's some amazing work on there via, via our very talented students. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.